Ephesians 3, 8, a portion thereof, the unsearchable riches of Christ. Praise God. We're reflecting on Paul's word letter to the church at Ephesus, the Ephesians. This is Ephesians. And Paul is talking about his calling to preach these unsearchable blessings, these unsearchable things of Christ to the Gentiles. That's the mystery. The mystery in God that he would allow not only his own children, the Jews, but those of us who are adopted. He would allow adoption for all those who were afar off. We, the Gentiles, praise God. The unsearchable riches that are in Christ. I want to talk about the ability to search God and the ability to not be able to search all of Him. God in His eternal being is more than we can comprehend. He is more than the sum of any of His parts, any of His deity. He is more. He is bigger. He is greater. He is more grand than anything we could ever think of or imagine. But He has made Himself known to us through His Word through Christ Jesus, through His Spirit, all one and the same. He has made Himself known. He came down, wrapped Himself in flesh, lived a human life, a perfect human life, obeying God perfectly. And He paid the penalty for our sins, the only one that could. The only Lamb, the sacrificial Lamb, the Lamb of God that was worthy to take on all sin, to pay the price, to fulfill the law of God. Now this Christ, whom we preach, who I preach, he, <coughs> excuse me, he has, he has blessings that are unsearchable. He has things that we can never truly find. We'll never know the unsearchableness of our God. But we are still to seek him. And that does this this unsearchable doesn't mean that we shouldn't bother, right? Well, he, if we can't if we if we can't search, there's so many things that will never stop. Will never stop. A Christian is to have it in their heart, have it in their mind. I will never stop searching Christ. I will never stop learning about Him. I will never stop talking about Him. I will never stop praising Him. His praise will continually be on my lips. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's never enough. It's never enough. God is always enough. But it's still not enough. <laughs> because we want more of God. We want to... We have all of God, but we can't search all of God. Praise God. So because of that, his innumerable blessings, his innumerable uh, parts of his being, praise God, are what we are to constantly be seeking, and it's eternal. Do you think that once we make it to heaven, we'll know God? Well, we'll see him as he is, for we will be like him meaning in our bodies, our, our resurrected bodies, our incorruptible bodies, right? But that doesn't mean that we'll still know all of him. You know, the angels don't even know all of him. Did you think about that? The angels, the ones closest to him, they have six wings, wings that cover their eyes because you can't see all of God and survive can't see God like that in his eternal being state. You can't see him like that and live. But you can see him in Christ Jesus. And that's who's on the throne, folks. That's who we see God. If there's a God sitting on the throne, it's Christ. Because that's how we can see him. That's how we can know him through his son. The father is in the son. There's one God and he's on the throne. And he's knowable to an extent that we can know the person of Jesus Christ. And if that's the case, then that's who we know. But we don't still know him completely. We don't. Not as much as he can be known. And so it will take all eternity for us, even in heaven. Even after we've been translated into eternal state. We will still be searching God for all eternity. 
as he is with us because <laughs> he is vast. He is power. He is glory. And there's so much of it that we cannot contain it. No one can contain this God. Praise God. So that is something for us to look forward to. But we begin this now, right? We begin this now as children of God who have been grafted in, right? Who have now been adopted as children of God. We are now in his riches. We have his riches available to us so that we can eternally seek them. And it starts now. So if you're not studying enough, study. If you're not praying enough, pray. If you're not fellowshipping with the saints enough, fellowship. If you're not learning enough, learn, 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 learn. Because I believe if his, if his blessings are that unsearchable, right, and that vast and that many, then um, we're going to be learning about God for all eternity as he reveals himself in eternity forever and ever and ever. But while we're here on this earth, let's, let's begin and or continue seeking him in everything. Because in front of us is an eternity of a God that we, we can't search completely. And <laughs> hallelujah, I am so blessed. Tell your neighbor, tell yourself. I am so blessed to have these unsearchable riches because when when these riches come down upon me, the things that I haven't even sought out yet, that I haven't even discovered yet, when God shows them and reveals them to me, what a surprise, what a blessing, what a gift it is. Praise God. Because what is unsearchable, here's the closing, what is unsearchable, hallelujah, is still available. And is still being given. Till next time, may the Lord richly bless you. Praise to our God and only Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.